check out my t-shirt, man. Hey, a swag like lord. It. It's a swag lord lad. It's actually cool because this was designed in Need for Speed Underground 1. If you like 420s and if you like 69s. And noddy. And noddies. <laughs> That's a t-shirt for you. Three noddies and the There's not line. many of these left, so go cop them quick yeah, time. No, we're almost out. What are we doing today, George? So today we are gonna walk you through our lovely E36 skin. Yes, sir! Box. So there's been about six or seven episodes building this car now. Started off as a rat infested field find. Back. This is your first car, wasn't this it? This is my first car ever. And then we held on to it. It stayed, like you said, rat infested in a farm. And uh, it's had a new lease of life, as you can see. Ta da! We built this car for Dory Fest, which is the pinnacle of UK drifting events here in the UK. UK. Plug. UK. <laughs> UK. So UK you know about six okay. times there. You're okay. It was flawless other than we had a little fuel pump issue which we didn't change before the event and um, it was fine otherwise it was mint it's got a three litre but it's got a 444 diff in it so yeah. it's rapid off the off the mark it doesn't have a high speed but yeah it's, it's fun what does the drive. audience think oh, it's cow. Cow. Going, that's all you need to know <laughs> this started off as 318 yeah. Manual. Um, hey, bro. We yeah. were going to contemplate using a 318 at Dory Fest. I'm glad we didn't because it would have been absolutely pointless. So we should probably <laughs> start off with the uh, piece de resistance. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that even happened? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's in here. The beautiful M54 B30 with custom Christmas sock. These are. Yeah, that is legit. These reservoirs tend to leak a lot. That's the power steering, so we put a little socky on there and this uh, sorted the job right Still out. Still has kind of exploded. Like, trying to leak a little bit up there. This is uh, thanks to our wonderful in-house designer. Oh, Gavin. Cool. So you need a uh, you need a few things from E36s, and that is from any that aren't uh, 328. There are six pot. You need the prop, the gear linkage, the engine mounts. Yes, sir. You also need a fuel rail and manifolds for the exhaust from a E46 M52, M52. Yeah. and those are the bits you need from other BMWs and then actually it goes in quite nicely. Don't forget the hack wiring loom. You need to sort out the wiring. We spoke to our lovely friends at Hack Engineering and they supplied us with a immaculate and smooth sailing uh, adapter. Plug and play. Plug and play adapter. Plug. We've got 36 engine mounts but then we, uh, we couldn't find the actual rubbers that would make it work nice. So we've decided to go for hockey pucks. Makes it a little bit stiffer. Stops for the engine yet, model. So yeah, it looks good, man. We put a couple big washers either side just to stiffen it out and works mint. All right, so our Bodge Aero, we've got standard BMW 36 SE bumpers, which this car came on. And we've got another SE bumper. And we chopped this section out here, which is just below the bumper trim. Flipped it around, took a little bit out of the middle, riveted it on. Ta-da. Ta-da. We've mint. also got the little fog light blanks as well on the front sporting the very nice story fest logo so you can see here someone dropped an engine it shattered the glass so decided that it actually kind of looked cool without the glass so yeah. i removed them swapped out to a preface grid as well because they look 10 times better oh yeah the nose a little oh, bit the whole nose cone yeah all of this is kept changed. the chrome as well use some steel wool to bring that to its finest shininess e46 m sport side skirts flipped back to front and then chopped to make them fit and these are off of Coupe as well. These are M Sport Coupe ones. It's coupe, bro. We're not American. Coupe, Coupe, Coupe la. Coupe. We're not French either. <laughs> coupe. No, no, no. We're still on the aero here. Some more bodge. BMW E36 SE bumper. Similar to the front. Times two, basically just. Oh, times it. two. Chop it below the bumper trim. Pop it on. It's quite funny, really. A lot of it is actually the original kit. We've just got another one and <laughs> chopped it and extended it. So. It's purely because we can't afford anything else. We don't have any spoilers or anything, but we're we're I can't like working it. with I the can't idea. Like it clean, man. Yeah, I mean, I if, if if you've got an idea of what you like to see on this, drop us a message, and or I mean, there's, there's us still time. Oh my god! Right up here, ah, mate. Your dog's savage. Dog. Savage. Oh yeah, we tinted the lights. It's a a perfect colour match, as you can see. Yeah. So if you haven't watched any of the other videos that we've done on this car, go back and check them so you can watch the full build of this car. But we basically stripped the whole car on the underside, so took off the subframe, all that sort of stuff. Got it all powder coated and a nice shiny silver. Polybushed it all, 
put in new rose bushes, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Did a spare wheel way. We also did a spare wheel well delete. Oh, shit. Anyway. Ah. Oh. It's actually red. Some, some crappy metal. Look at that. See, that's a 6N2 bonnet. <laughs> We've done that. <laughs> We've done that because then we've got any bash bars and it makes it a little bit easier to access the jack because obviously you cannot get, once you deck the car off, you cannot get a jack underneath because of the spare wheel well. The rear suspension to get 36s, this decked off. There's a number of ways you can do it. We've gone for a little bit of a bodge. Mini Cooper S rear shocks of a R53, I believe. And we've got hyper brake rear springs on the back, which are- But they don't exist anymore, so you can't buy those. I'm back do some, but they're about two and a half inches tall. They're literally diddy. Got to run the adjuster cups all the way to the top, otherwise it's undrivable. Um, but yeah, what you want is short shocks, high spring rate on an E36. 16, 16K on the back. So we also had Febby come on board to help supply a load of parts for this car. OE matching quality, which means it's basically meant to be as good as OEM. Um, we've always used them. They've always been really reliable. They sorted us out. They so big up. So yeah, they gave us like wheel bearings, center bearing, donut, I think. Discs, pads. They really blessed us, to be honest. Saved the pocket a little bit, even though it's still got a hole in it. We do have a hydro and we've gone for a twin caliper setup. That means we got two sets of brakes. Hydro does one set, foot pedal does the other, so. And it is dreamy as well. Right. It's minimal effort to pull that thing. Minimal effort and it doesn't mess about with your pedals. Like, they feel good. Do nice perfect. things to the underside of your car and then deck it off and ruin it. It's worth baby, it. Baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we've gone with the Club Sports Style 71s on the rear. They're a two-piece wheel. These are quite cheap at the moment, so go get them before they get really expensive. Might try to relip these at some point. They look like uh, fake Blitz 03s. Pretty Blitz saucy. Blitz. And on the front, we've got oh. some Brock B2s, I believe they are. Wait, wait. 50 um, pound Jamie bought um, these for. Get your Brock on. Actually, we should probably talk about the front as well. Oh, we've the front's got, clapped, mate. We've got custom lower control arms. Extended we doors. have cut and welded knuckles and done that. in house and they haven't broken yet, so Woo. that's a positive. Purple steering rack as well. Purple tag rack. All essentials to get in that ultimate lock for when you're going full it sideways. It does have quite a good lock. It does have good lock. So for the livery slash paint job, we got our initial inspiration from an AMG touring car. It doesn't look like that, but the color, the color <laughs> pattern, the color, the color scheme is the same. Palette. The color palette is the same. Uh, we've always wanted to two-tone a car and we thought this was a good excuse for our first attempt. So we've gone for gold at the bottom. That is a factory BMW colour. That is uh, cashmere beige. Cashmere beige? And what's the green? And the green is Boston green. That's the colour the car came in. So uh, Jamie's put a nice... Lovely wall tap on there. That is, that is decent. That's what we like to see. We've gone for the classy pinstripe along the side going into the gold and chromed out Weasel Works logo. And then we've we've thrown on some of our uh, some of our friends on the side. We got Febby, we got Roll Hard, we got Tucked, and then we got some Weasel Works uh, adjusted Originals. original logos. All right, passenger side. Obviously, because you do an engine swap, you've got to have a fire extinguisher in the car. I mean, we wouldn't actually if we didn't have to for track. Um, I think it's probably worth always keeping a fire extinguisher in your car. <laughs> It'd be a shame to lose all the effort that you've done. So, very standard SC set up in here, all the grey stuff, all the crap stuff. But we did put a M Sport E46 passenger seat in, which we got for free. Good bolster on them. All you got to do is just drill out the bolts, bolt holes a little bit. Fits in a dream. eBay Special Hydro. Um, but then we've gone for a higher quality Willwood master cylinder with the reservoir on it because we're running a separate system for the hydro. Recommend doing that because all the other cylinders break and it's just not worth the money or the time. And um, the, the mounts do as well. The if mounts buy do the as chunky well. boy off of eBay, it's a little flimsy as hell, mate. Won't name any names, but I've been dealing with a lot of... Jimmy, Jimmy, oh. We need a hydro install. Hold on. We do this a lot. E46 armrest looks clapped. <laughs> I agree. Nah, it's, it's very handy. I'm going to put one of these in my car, I think. Um, this is a short shifter, cheap eBay thingy that was gifted to us and it's really hard to find first and third and second and fourth and fifth and reverse are the only ones you can actually find. <laughs> so yeah, get, get a good short shifter. I think this is a Driftworks wheel. Yeah, that's correct? actually a decent. This is a banging, this is a good job. I, I like this one a lot. 
Scott's cushion because he's short us. We have a, a junior Sparko seat. This is tiny. <laughs> it, it hugs you very, very, very nicely. <laughs> I'm sure my ribs are very bruised after that weekend. Do <laughs> you need the key, mate? Do you need the key? Here you go. This is a multi purpose procedure right now. I can't even. In gear. That's why I rolled. Space is jump. <laughs> What shall we do with our interior? You're thinking like deep purple velour, leopard print, take it all off, spray paint it black. We should flock something. Something needs to be flocked. Get I don't flocked, know what. Mate. They say like waka waka. Yeah, flocka. Yeah. Flocka. I go hard. So before we get into doing some naughty duggets, um, it is worth mentioning if you want us to swap your engine or do anything on your car, then we are the people to go through. We have an E30 over here. Let's have a six pot swap. So that's something we can do. There's another E30 at the back of the shop that's got another six pot swap. There's a mystery vehicle here with a large package. That's a, that's a very special that, yeah, swap. I, think, I don't think anyone's ever done that not, before. Not so telling you about that one. We are the brave or stupid about that. But anyways, mechanical stuff. Everything apart from bodywork, please. Man. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alfred, your time to drive. Boy. All right, Wait. Alfred, you up for your first uh, Dug it challenge. Let me shut the door. Go. <laughs> Down there, that was so savage. No way, no. Spuds! Yes! yes. That, was, that was one of the best throw downs yet, was, Alfred. That was his first, first wall run. Yeah, first wall run on the container. So, if you want Beautiful. to see more Alfred shredding, hit that like, subscribe, leave us a comment, tell them yeah, what I'm you You want any work done on your car? Me and George are the Bald Brothers to do that for you. Yeah, so up, and, go uh, on the website, cop yourself some new Weasel Works merch. That's it. And, uh, bye. <laughs> That's all, folks. Go! 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 Go!